This is the uh, steepest man-made incline I've ever been on. All the places that you end up in order to walk anywhere in a city are always so interesting. Like, who else is here? In 45 minutes I've descended a mountain and I'm almost to the bridge. Now, it's good infrastructure to have this giant paved road in the sky, but it gives you a real perspective. Uh, and I mean this road, not that one. It gives you a real perspective on just like the behemoths that we, uh, that we deal with in terms of modern car infrastructure. Check this out. Isn't this fascinating? Like, what is that supposed to be? Is it, it looks like a rail system of some kind. Huh. To get from that do not enter sign all the way over to this side of the bridge took one, two, three, four, I think five different wait signs. It's insane. This is such a beautiful view. It's, uh, it's really crazy. I don't know. So the verdict is that it takes me an hour to go from my house to cross the Selwood Bridge on foot. Check out these big groves of trees up here in Selwood Park. Check out this massive cloud. Just heard a kid say, what a sight, uh, to his mom kicking a basketball, or sorry, a soccer ball. It's really funny. Check out this view of Hoax Bottom Wildlife Refuge, or Wildlife Refuge, rather. Beautiful. Someone placed this bench here just because they knew it was pretty. And they were right. From the pedestrian perspective, you can really feel the difference in character and the smells and the, uh, and the sidewalks from every neighborhood, you know? It's just totally different. And when you're in a car, you can't really feel that.